Also today, the Indiana Juvenile Justice Reform Task Force will meet to go over information and come up with recommendations to better serve the state's young people. The group is launching a new project to review the different practices across the state. Eric Pointer joins us this morning from the newsroom. Eric, what will they do with the data they'll be going over? So Representative Wendy McNamara, who is one of the chairs of the commission, says that they will look at the outcomes from the meeting today and consider legislative change to make improvements. The bipartisan task force is made up of members from all three branches of government. The group has been gathering juvenile related information from the counties of Indiana. Now they will take what they've collected and work to improve data sharing, assure equal outcomes across the state, refer children and families to services and programs, and find alternatives to incarceration. If this brings consistency across the state, at least in the gathering of data, then we've made a major accomplishment um, so that we can better help any type of juvenile find themselves in the system. Representative McNamara says they could take action as soon as the next session unless it would require change in the budget. Then it would have to wait until the next budget cycle in 2023. And the statewide reform task force meets just a couple of days before. Mayor Hogg said its administration lays out its plans to spend $15 million next year on community anti-violence programs. And much of that is aimed at young people in Marion County. And Eric, this comes as Marion County has seen a rough year. Where do the numbers stand as far as juveniles and homicides? So at least nine have been killed and six teens have been arrested for homicide and about three dozen have survived shootings. And again, this group of state leaders is meeting today. They will be using this and other data to make their recommendations on how to move forward. Here in the newsroom, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News. Eric.